Welcome to the Diesel Page. My name is Jim Bigley and I'd like to introduce you to Little Red, our Duramax Diesel Power Project, a 1989 Chevrolet Silverado K1500. The project truck shown here was first driven in April of 2004 and it became the very first privately owned Duramax Allison conversion in a GM vehicle. The Diesel Page literally wrote the book on Duramax conversions and we designed the Duramax conversion motor mounts that allow for a bolt-in conversion. We've helped many hundreds of truck owners through the years with their own Duramax conversion. This video introduces Little Red and its Duramax conversion to the YouTube community. If nothing else, this shows how well the truck continues to run and perform since its completion more than 20 years ago. And it shows just how much fun Little Red is to drive. The road ahead shows the beginning of Lost Trail Pass here on US 93. This grade runs at mostly 6% for several miles to the top of the 7,000 foot pass that crosses from Montana into Idaho. This truck weighs just over 5,000 pounds and with so much power available the performance is amazing even when running at near stock power levels. It can easily break the tires loose from a rolling start. The Eaton Posi differential is equipped with 342 gears which helped to produce an interstate speed of about 80 miles per hour at just 2,000 RPM. As a result, highway fuel economy is in the range of 22 to 24 miles per gallon, depending on how much fun the trip was. I invite you to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of the many videos coming in the weeks and months ahead. And if you have any questions about Little Red or Duramax conversions in general, please let me know in the comments section below. And incidentally, the popping sounds you might be hearing are due to the leather seat backs that are in contact with the plastic interior trim panels just below the rear window. Once I fully committed to the conversion process, serious effort began in late 2003 and the truck first became drivable in early April 2004, some four months later. The conversion came together in a very short time when spending just a few hours per day working through the list of things to do. All in all, I actually enjoyed the process and my enthusiasm grew as the conversion came together. Those planning their own conversion should consider retaining their project truck's original dash and heating, venting, air conditioning package. And just modify the truck's original dash to accept the newer gauge cluster that matches the model year of the Duramax engine you're using. And I recommend replacing the truck's original steering column with a modified donor steering column. This will make it easier. Of course there's more to it, but the link shown below will take you to our website where you can read a more in-depth blog about the assembly of Little Red. Some time back, power eventually reached a maximum of 632 horsepower and 1,200 pound-feet of torque on the chassis dynamo while this truck was being actively campaigned. This was accomplished by using a combination of e EFI Live programming, nitrous oxide, and an ATS Allison Extreme transmission. Since then, the power has been scaled back to better suit the more relaxed type of driving I have in mind for the truck. Little Red has made dozens of runs down the quarter mile track, some with as much as 632 horsepower, and it has been on the dyno many times. So there's a lots more to talk about in a future video. 
But please stay with us a few minutes more. Coming up will be some under the hood video with and without the engine running, as well as more video of the truck's interior and how it was put together. In the meantime, just enjoy the drive and the beautiful scenery found here in Montana. Because this truck was scheduled to appear in a series of magazines, the completed engine transmission conversion had to look like a factory installation. In fact, most people actually do think this was a factory installation. I urge all those who begin their own conversion to work toward the same goal, i.e. a factory look. This could increase the value of a converted vehicle by as much as $20,000. Little Red is equipped with a straight piped exhaust system. A muffler could reduce the sound level a bit, but the current system isn't, isn't obnoxious. A 1999 to 2007 model year GM truck dash replaced the original 1989 model year dash. The new dash is not required to produce a running and driving Duramax conversion, though at a minimum I do recommend modifying your existing dash to accept the instrument panel gauge cluster that matches the model year of your Duramax engine. It's not all that difficult and having the instrument panel gauges will enhance your overall Duramax conversion. I invite you to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of the videos coming in the weeks and months ahead. Part of what we hope to do with our YouTube channel is to make many of our favorite Duramax and 6.5 liter diesel books available online at no cost. Of course in video format. You can help us accomplish that goal and it won't cost you anything. Just hit the like, share and subscribe button. And finally, if you have any questions about Duramax conversions, please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.